Sorry guys for the Sorry for the uh, technical issues. For those on um, for those on YouTube, we are sorry we are unable to transmit live to YouTube right now. It's um, it's really difficult. Uh, there were, there has been a lot of technical issues. There were too many people joining the Zoom meeting at the same time. So we are very sorry about that. Uh, we will share the recording of these videos at the end of this call right immediately after now. Um, so I'm going to start presenting because I'm supposed to be the next speaker now. Uh, just a few minutes. I hope you guys can hear me. Yes, we can. Okay. I can hear you. Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, so I'm supposed to talk about the internship and what it entails. Um, so once again, uh, something has said a lot about ArcBio itself, uh, what ArcBio entails. And uh, this is our Twitter handle, and this is our uh, LinkedIn handle, I mean, our company ID. So ArcBio, the, the internship started last year as a, as a random thought between a few guys who were interested in bioinformatics. And uh, we saw that it was something interesting and it was something a lot of people wanted to learn. And it was also at the height of COVID-19. So we said, what if we gather ourselves together and um, do this so that we can try to contribute to what's going on. And I mean, try to see how our little knowledge in biomedical sciences can contribute to uh, global health and public health rather. So moving forward, I will tell you what ArcBio is about. ArcBio is a virtual internship. So you don't need to leave your personal house. You don't need to leave your room. It's, you can do it in your room. What you just need is a computer, a laptop, or a comp uh, yeah, a computer, whatever form of computing system you have, any computing system. Uh, and it works around the clock, OK? It works around the clock. You have to be connected to the internet. Apparently, for you to have been on this call, you are connected to the internet. Uh, you have to be connected to the internet. Uh, it's 100% online, around the clock. Uh, and then it's also all about bioinformatics So and its applications. So things like computational biology, so anything around those synonyms, medical genetics, statistical genetics, software development, all those techy aspect of uh, of biological sciences, that's what it entails. So if you think uh, we are going to talk about, uh, we are going to buy some molecular agents and try to do it here, it's not going to be possible, unfortunately. So, uh, and at the end, we all want to achieve is significant career growth. What we want to achieve is significant career growth. We want you to have something at the end that you can tender at any career growth opportunity, say scholarship, PhD positions, uh, grants, generally anything that pushes you to, uh, want you to achieve something of that nature. And uh, <clears throat> someone is coming on board to talk about what you get from this internship. So uh, it started once again, uh, <laughs> back to the historical timeline. We started in 2020 and <clears throat> we got a little less than 1,000 persons on board and less than 10% of them, and that's about 68 persons, were able to finish the internship. And today actually marks a year that we started, I mean, today was exactly, today marks exactly a year that we did this, this same thing last year. And uh, it was a really interesting event. It was, uh, it went around, for everybody. Uh, yeah, it was really interesting. And uh, one thing about the event is that uh, as much as it is about every, it is about yourself, it's also about your team. It's always about your team and yourself. So as much as your team is developing, always ensure that <clears throat> you personally you are learning, always ensure that everything your team is doing, you can do it on your own. That is, you are not isolated. Uh, 
if you're if you it, you should not try to bring in uh, any competitive nature. You are not competing with anybody here. You are not competing with any team. You are just working to improve yourselves. You are working to help yourselves. If you qualify to enter the next round, fine. If you don't, uh, it's all good. It's not a bad idea. You can come and maybe you just need to upgrade your technical skills. And yeah, so I will also, yeah, once again about the historical perspective, I will still talk about what Agbar is not because I've been talking about what Agbar is. And there are some uh, myths that people think Agbar is. So uh, Agbayo, uh, I mean, last year we had about 15, 15 countries, but this year we are having about 50 countries, and that's a very big, uh, it's a very big expansion. I mean, it's a very big uh, out, uh, outreach. We've gotten out to many more persons. Sorry, there are so many people trying to enter. If you cannot enter the zoom call even personally for myself i just entered a few minutes ago just before i started talking. so i would advise that you uh, you wait because you are able to you are able to set up the live uh youtube call who do i know yeah catch me fruit what was that Yes. Oh, sorry, sorry. I think I think it, there was an issue. So uh, <clears throat> I've been trying to set up that YouTube channel, but it's, it's not been working. Sorry about that. So this year we have about fifty countries, more than that, anyways. And uh, we we hope there will be networking increases. We hope you get to meet more friends all over the world. Interestingly, those from those that met, those that worked together last year, they still meet virtually. They set up uh, meetings, virtual meetings, uh, to talk with themselves, to organize chats, to organize, uh, to meet with themselves on free times. To and the ones in Nigeria, I, I had they did uh, a, a brief dinner party with themselves in Lagos. If you know Lagos, uh, you know they enjoy themselves. Well, that's, that's about that. But the main idea is that we are going to network with people you never thought, uh, people you never believed you could speak to or you could reach out to, you, or countries you never believed you, you could have friends. And going forward, uh, so some of the advantages or some of the good things that come out of Akbayo is that uh, from last year, we are talking from historical perspective now, from last year, four out of the five teams that, that got to the final stage. Uh, so about the teams, don't worry, don't bother yourself. You would understand how the teams will work once we go back to the workspace. But for now, uh, four out of the five teams that got to the final stage got their works published. Uh, I mean, the we, last week, within the last three weeks, we got about two more additions that were really, uh, one was published in Science Direct, and the other was published in, I can't recall, but I think, yeah, both of them were published in Science Direct. And 50%, at least 50% of those that are completed, that is, if you finish at all, most of them have secured higher positions in either scholarships, either PhD positions, either uh, in senior internship posts, either or junior positions in their, in, in, their prospect, in their respective field. And usually, they tend to still ah. be, Hey, sorry, sorry. Uh, there is a way I can. Uh, sorry, I didn't. I didn't get. It. Okay, there is a way. Sorry. Hey. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. So about fifty percent of them were able to proceed to better positions. I mean, more higher positions. All over the world, and uh, two out of those five teams again who have won external recognitions. Uh, one, one, one of them won the best abstract conference at the uh, at FISV conference, best abstract presentation at FISV in Italy, and uh, the vaccine team, the team that worked on vaccine for COVID nineteen, 
got awarded by Open Bioinformatics Foundation, which was completely independent of uh, ArcBio's influence. That is, is, it shows the quality of research that you are going to do. It's uh, of international standard, standard, and it's going to, it's something you can really be proud of. It's not something you, you move ahead in life and you don't want to present it. Okay, so, uh, so where are last year's intents? Uh, they are all over the world in summary. So we have people in Poland, people in Nigeria, people in Russia, people in Kenya, East Africa, Kenya, Tanzania, and they are in some of the biggest institutes, uh, also in the United States, India, even in India, yeah, uh, in Philippines, in Sweden, uh, South Africa, they are all over, spread all over the world. And we are very happy. Anytime they send messages to us, we are very happy. Uh, interestingly, some of them won't tell us that uh, it is even the even at least the preprint, the first preprint they were able to get from the uh, from the internship. The first preprint was represented like their first paper, and they could use it to advance their personal career. So how it works? So there will be five stages. The first stage is stage zero down to stage four. So talking about the internship itself, it starts with stage zero, uh, where you talk about you. Program, where you do a little bit of programming, uh, Git and GitHub, Linux, uh, do a little bit of Linux. Uh, when you move to stage one, uh, you do a little bit of Linux and tool usage. Stage two, use, uh, you do some pre-bio stack. That is, uh, so one thing, one question I would love to answer now because I think I've seen it, is that uh, can we choose our bio staff ourselves? Yes, you can choose it. We are not going to force you to do what you don't like. So once again, uh, it's about your personal preference. We want you to be able to do what you want to do, not what you think you, should, you want to do. We don't want to uh, enforce any idea or any perception on you. So we try as much, whatever you think you want to do, even if you think you can do two, which I would not advise because at the end of the day, you will not be able to undo the two at the same time. So we adv I advise that you pick one, uh, you look for what interests you most. Uh, someone else is coming on board to talk about the projects, and I mean the bio stacks themselves. Later on, you will know about the projects. And then at the final stage, you talk, we talk about the, uh, you get you give you some you have to submit a final project and reports and there will be some presentation so one thing i want you to note is that uh, uh there will be evictions at some stages there will be evictions uh eviction does not mean you are not good enough but it means uh you just need to it does not mean you are bad so it but you just need to improve yourself you just need to upskill you just need to develop yourself just need to uh, maybe the skills were not enough or maybe you didn't work well as a team uh, and you can just try to always improve yourself so uh, eviction is not a bad thing it's just uh, an opportunity to do more it's an opportunity to do more and probably better things rather than ArcBio. so what's ArcBio is not so ArcBio is not a training or tutorial session uh, i mean the internship so like we said it's an internship it's internship mean that you are probably an enthusiast. Even if you are a fresher, yeah, you can take an internship, right? Uh, you, you just need to be intentional about your learning. That is, you, you should not allow anybody's laxity or anybody's proactivity. That is, don't you are not influenced by someone else. You are here for your own personal career growth. You are here to learn. And by learning, you are learning by doing it yourself. You are learning with real projects. So uh, the problem usually for learning by informatics is that there is no real project to, to do. But in this case, you uh, get a real project to... Back to tomorrow, I need to... Who is this?
for mute. Sorry, sorry, I, I didn't know I was mute. So it's not just about, uh, like I said, let, let me go over that again. It's not a tutorial session. It's not a workshop. It's not a training. It's not, uh, you, we are not going to sit you down in a class or virtual class and start teaching, no. You are going to learn on your own. You are going to learn on your own. If you need help, as we were going to talk about how to get help very soon, uh, you try to reach out to people, okay? So Priscilla is going to talk about how to get help later on. Uh, about your team's growth, yeah, you should try to, it's not just about your team's growth rather, it's about both your personal and your team growth. So you need to learn on both faces. You need to learn, uh, I mean, you need to learn to work with a team and you need to learn to work to improve yourself. So, and I think the best way to actually improve ourselves is to work with our teams, right? Uh, it improves, it still leaves that part of our humanity and allows everybody to interact like human beings rather than uh, zombies. So again, it's not just about science. It's about, we do a lot of other things from socials to tourism to sports. And trust me, you are going to enjoy, your, you are going to enjoy yourselves uh, on the social level. You can, you may not be able to imagine how we are going to do that, but we are going to do a lot of social works, a lot of social activities. Uh, if you can sing, fine. If you can, if you are very good, if you're a very good uh, tour guide, if you can take us around your country, it's fine. We are going to have all these activities. Uh, so it's not just about science. Again, uh, so what you will need. So uh, the first thing you need is Slack. And I think Slack has caused enough problems already. It has caused enough problems for everybody. Uh, even for the team at the backyard, uh, it was really terrible. We did not expect Slack to really behave that way. Uh, so, I th so when we investigated, it was, a, it was an issue from Slack itself. Uh, so when we checked the Slack status, Slack status uh, they are unable to verify redirect links. So that was why you all had that issue. And we are very sorry about it. We are very sorry. But then, uh, so you need to get Slack installed, either on your mobile phone or your uh, web browser or your desktop, anyone you prefer. It's on, it's on Linux, it's, on, it's available for Ubuntu if you're using Ubuntu, it's available for Mac, it's available for Windows, it's available for Android, it's available for iOS. Also Zoom, so I didn't need to talk about Zoom because we're already on Zoom. GitHub. So Zoom is more for your private use. You can decide to use any other software, maybe Google Meet or whatever software you think you like. You can decide to use them. So GitHub, uh, the first activity we are going to do now will require you to use GitHub. So even if you don't install it now, you'd have to, install, you'd have to, I mean, you don't really need to install it. You just need to have an account on GitHub. Uh, it's an abuse us to actually document everything we are doing effectively. Uh, well, you get to understand why you need GitHub version. Now, any Ubuntu console. So and I think I've seen a lot of questions about this. I'll just answer that now. Uh, about Ubuntu, uh, uh, so the, the word Ubuntu was wrong. Uh, it's supposed to be Linux console, sorry. It's supposed to be any Linux console or Unix console. Uh, by that, uh, you can have Ubuntu installed. You can, even if it's Ubuntu on Windows, if, if it is uh, putty on Windows, if it is any outlet that allows you to run a Linux terminal, it's okay. And uh, if you don't understand that, you can visit the help channel. So from now, we'll, you can begin to ask questions. Uh, yeah, you can begin to ask questions on the help channel because the internship is officially open. And then you need a personal workspace, you need a personal workspace. Uh, so when you are grouped with your team, uh, all the technical, uh, all the technical requirements will be solved, and then you can really you can you can you can respond to them. I mean, you can solve them within your team. So we we cannot give a specific set of rules that every team should use. Every team can adapt to whatever situation they find themselves based on their abilities, based on their personal preference. Okay, and then there is a personal. You should have a personal workspace. Where you where you get to work personally at home, right? I'm not talking about uh, in this in the cloud. You, you have you have a quiet space, maybe two hours every day to work on the projects of the internship. So yeah, we want to appreciate our sponsors uh, from DNA Compass to F1000 Research, BioTrust, Agbio itself. It's different from Agbio internship. 
if you know what I mean. Galaxy Project, uh, yeah, they, they are one of, they are, we were once our sponsor and we still recognize them. Elix Biogen, Bio60, and Simeus Lab, uh, who graciously donated this Zoom platform to us. Uh, so we live on donations. We do not generate any money. We don't generate any money, and we do not intend to generate any money. Okay, so it's completely free. Uh, for the certificate, it is free. I don't know why uh, the flyer was boldly written free. Uh, but a lot of people still doubt that. I don't know uh, why our world is uh, why our world is like this. But yeah, it's free. Okay, you can believe that. It's it's completely free. You don't need to doubt it. It's completely, completely free. What you just need to do is to dedicate your time. That's the only thing we are going to collect from you. We are going to collect your time because you need to dedicate a significant amount of time, about five hours, say five to 10 hours every week to work on the projects. And uh, try to not abuse everybody, okay? Try to be friendly. Try to, if anybody, there's no stupid question, right? Uh, there is no uh, bad question anybody can ask. Please try to, uh, engage, try to meet new friends, try to help others. Yeah, try to be resourceful. Uh, one of the most resourceful persons last year won the Open Bioinformatics Foundation uh, Award. And he, he, he's now a big guy. He's currently in Sweden. He's actually from India. So I think there are a lot of Indians this year. Uh, Indians are the highest population from our statistics. So uh, yeah, so you can, he was, he's currently in Sweden. I think working remotely, I'm not sure, but he's working with Sweden, a, a university in Sweden now, just because he helped others, just because he was proactive enough and built his personal research profile from here. Uh, so uh, I went over to Katun, who actually is an Indian as well. Uh, and today is his birthday. We say happy birthday to him. Hopefully he can take over from now. Uh, I don't know if it's if it's available, so I'll stop sharing. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Uh, hello, Mr. Well. This is Jigar Set. Uh, sorry, you cannot ask questions now. Just uh, hold on a little bit. Uh, there will be time for question and answers. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think uh, the next speaker is not available. I don't know why. Just a few people behind. Let me see if I can fix that. Okay, I think Katyn is not available. Uh, I will just take his position. So what are the things you will get from the internship? Yeah, I'm not sharing anything. So yeah, this is the um, yeah, Maybe I can just share this because I don't have his presentation, but I know what he wants to talk about. So what are the things you get from this internship? You will get a certificate. That answers a lot of questions already. You get a certificate. You will get a. You get a certificate, sure. You will get a, a manuscript, at least. And in the worst case scenario, you get a preprint. So if you know what that means, a preprint is nothing. It's a non-peer-reviewed manuscript. So st by standard, everybody gets a. Uh, everybody gets a preprint. Everybody gets a manuscript, raw manuscript that you can submit to a preprint, that you can submit to a journal. But before it's accepted in a journal, it has to undergo peer review. So in the process of peer review, you, in the process of peer review, you get to, uh, I mean, just before it is published finally in, in a journal, it has to undergo peer review. But if for non-peer reviewed journals, because of the, because sometimes the quality of information is still okay, because no knowledge is lost at the end of the day, we can submit it to a preprint. And then while it is in a preprint available for everybody to read, uh, journals can even write to you to request for a full manuscript and then you send it to them. Again, um, 
one other thing you get is meet you get the opportunity to meet with different mentors. Uh, you get to you get to be mentored on real life bioinformatics projects. We have numerous projects waiting for you guys. Just prove yourself. Uh, just try to get to the stage where you get to write write the project. I mean, execute the projects, and then you be in that position. Um, so yeah, I think that's all from about what you will get. Uh, I hope, uh, so I'll just stop sharing again. Okay. Um, I would, I'll be trying to, I'll try to, I don't know, because is Priscilla on board? Okay, yeah, Priscilla is communicating with me. So she will be unable to continue. The, the Zoom call is full and we do not want to drop the call again. Uh, it's breaking a lot of communication. It's too full. Um, so can you explain the different stages? Um, okay, there's only a little we can do right now. Until you experience the stages, you may not be able to understand what the stages mean itself. So once again, stage one, you prove yourself that you can write programs, a simple program. You do that with your team. Uh, you would use Git and GitHub to document, to do a little bit of version control. Not just a little bit, because you have to do a lot of version control. Uh, yeah, Git, Git, uh, Git and Git. You, you manage Git with GitHub. Uh, then you program. You, you, you have different programming languages. Any programming language is okay, right? Uh, sorry. I think I have a lot of messages to respond to. Uh, okay, sorry about that. So yeah, that's the first stage. About the second stage, uh, you talk about Linux uh, software. You, you talk you have to, where you use Linux. Um, yeah, you get to use a Linux operating system. You implement a bioinformatics software. Usually most bioinformatics softwares are Linux based. So you get to use them. Uh, tool usage, of course, it's a bioinformatics tools majorly. I'm not saying there are no Windows based, but uh, most of them are Linux based. So you get to use one of them on the Linux on the Linux operating system because that's the standard. Uh, so for this stage three, we work on a pre biostack project. Uh, so for stage two, where you work on a pre biostack project, uh, you would have uh, you work on a small data set. A very small data set with your team. You select some set of softwares. Uh, we will give you idea about what you should work on. Okay, so it's not. Uh, yeah, well, if you want to be independent about what you want to do as well, of course, it's you are free to do that. But then, when you get to that stage, you understand that uh, you can do anything, uh, and not just anything, but you can pick your own data set if you prefer. If you have access to larger Linux servers. Uh, then by stage three, you get to work on real life projects, document already prepared by our mentors. Uh, so our mentors are ready for you. And then uh, finally you work, you then you try to document that project into a manuscript. So the process of project execution to the final stage of uh, preparing the manuscript is you have two weeks. And the reason why this is achievable within two weeks is because you have a lot of people to work on the same thing at the same time. So we, that's why you need to, first of all, work and network with a lot of people, try to understand their personal culture, try to integrate well so that you can work effectively with them, you know how best to work with them. And that way you get to understand them. So uh, it's shifting me on the call.
Okay, I think I just have to. Yeah, I am. Oh, oh, nice. I am. Okay. Can you just go ahead and present now? Uh, okay. Um. Good afternoon. Good evening, everyone. So I would be, I'll be talking on the bio staffs that are available and our and our mentors. Sorry. Ice cream. Or would you share the slide on my behalf, please? Okay, I should share from my end. Yeah, you can. Okay, I will try to do that right here. Just a few minutes. Okay, yeah, I got it. Um, um, so, um, for the internship, I, I believe that idea of science already and um, there are different bio stocks a lot of us while registering which interest i hope you can hear me can we hear yes me? like we can yeah yeah okay. we can there are different but there are different bio that we can join okay now bio stocks to the third stage like wally has earlier mix transcriptomics data science drug development software development medicinal chemistry and chemical informatics vaccine informatics and big health and genome epidemiology so the for me is i'll be taking us through this year's internship through my slides i'll have exciting mentors for us um is um, Festus in Yasini is about is a binary and a trainer at the International Center of Insect Physiology and Ecology. Um, before then, he was involved in viral epidemiology studies at KMRI Wellcome Trust and majorly in data science, epidemiology, regulatory genomics, and bioinformatics. He is also an engaged trainer is involved in training um, a lot of community outreach activities in the informatics hub of Kenya. And the hub is a platform for training, networking, and collaboration between researchers in Kenya. Our next, um, our next mentor is um, Idowola. Um, Idowola Woye is a doctoral research fellow and a bio bioinformatician at the African Center of Excellence for Genomics Diseases at Rijuma, Rijuma's University here in Nigeria. Um, he facilitated several bioinformatics workshops in the West African region in the past three years, and also developed an automated and scalable pipeline for bacterial genome analysis, which has been published in PRJ. He was also awarded the Public Health Alliance for Genomic Epidemiology Award, subgranted fund by the Gates Foundation to promote sustainable bioinformatics in Nigeria. Um, his interest is majorly in genomics also. His interest is genomics. The next person is um, Sami Wambwa, who is also very passionate about, he, studied, he has studied both in um, first world and third world countries or institutions and is keen on improving knowledge and skills transfer among science students in Africa. His mentoring call is augmented for over 15 years of experience in biomedical research. And he has been able to employ a lot of molecules to investigate the influence of human genetic polymorphisms on outcomes of malaria, HIV, and other STIs. Um, Pages of molecular biology and bioinformatics for his PhD while he was doing his PhD. And his interests are in coral metagenomics, immunogenomics, microbial ecology, among many others. Um, next um, mentor is Adrienne Yusa. She's an external sales professional at Separation. Separation is. Um, hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. Um, 
she works as an external sales professional at Separation. Separation is a company in South Africa. They, they sell a lot of um, lab tools and things like that. She has a master's and, and be, she did a, add a master's and be, biochemistry at the University of B. She's a, it was a molecular technologist there. Um, aside her uh, interest in sales, aside being an external sales professional, she's also a biochemist and she has over 10 years of experience. She mentors people. She works with, um, her skills are majorly in drug discovery and development. And she used to be a lecturer before her position at um, separations. And her interests are majorly drug discovery and genomics. The next mentor on our list is Testimony Olumade, who is also a PhD researcher at ACGID. He's a member of the team that is involved in the molecular epidemiology and diagnosis of infectious diseases. He was a member of the team that first sequenced the um, SARS-CoV-2 O genome in the African continent. And he also so uh, he currently acts as a principal investigator leading a team to study the seroprevalence of antibodies against SARS-CoV-2 in a population of COVID-19 survivors in Nigeria. His interest in metagenomics and immunology of infectious diseases. His current research now focuses on the metagenomics of Lassa virus in hosts and reservoirs and also the immune and also the immune of the host as it co correlates for protection in Nigeria. Um, the next person is um, Tony Abdu, Abdu Salam. Tony is an experienced bioinformatician and is a self-taught um, programmer. Unlike the rest of our mentors, Tony has um, experience in different fields outside biochem um, bioinformatics, sorry. He first had his background in agricultural engineering. He had his BSc at Lautech in Nigeria, then his MSc in computer science at the University of Badon, then his PhD currently in bioinformatics at the School Psychiatry Faculty of Medicine, University of New South Wales. He's a member of the university's academic board, is the vice president of African Student Union at the university, is a senior partner at Data Lead Africa in Abuja, Nigeria. He's the vice president of the Nigerian Bioinformatics and Genomics Network. He's the internship coordinator of the RSG Nigerian group. He works as a research analyst at Intersect Australia, where he teaches and provides computational support for more than 20 universities within Australia. He's a married man with three kids. Then our final, um, mentor on this, our final mentor is Okpoyemi Ibitoe. Okpoyemi Ibitoe is a molecular biotechnologist by training with key interest in bioinformatics and computer, computational biology. He had his BSc in biochemistry at Kwasu, Kwara State University in Nigeria. His master's in life sciences with um, specialization in molecular biotechnology at Skopje and is currently a PhD student in biotechnology in the US. He's a volunteer lecturer at Kwara State University in Nigeria, and his research in interests are anti drug discovery and microbial genomics. Um, to meet our exciting mentors, to meet every of our mentors, you need to at least try your best third stage to the third week third stage of this internship. And I believe that it will be discussing with them and relating with them. Thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Um, sorry, I'm just going to join you guys back now. Okay, so uh, going forward. Um, so we are supposed to have a testimonial from someone from last year. But unfortunately, he's even unable to join the call. I we are very, very sorry about that. But then I wanted to introduce you to his name is uh Sidan Shama. Uh he I can't remember where he graduated from, 
I think in New Delhi, it's a university in New Delhi. But uh, basically, he finished with the vaccine group last year. He was interested in proteomics uh, and vaccine informatics. So, yeah, so he was interested in vaccine informatics. So basically, what he did was that uh, after during his work with the team, he, he with his team, he was really optimistic. He was really he talked about a lot of things. I mean, he shared a lot of resources. Uh, he helped a lot of people. He, I, I mean, most of the teams he worked with, they actually survived because uh, Sedans was there. So, uh, yeah, so um, going forward, he, he worked with his team and the team, well, the team did not get a, was not the best team at the end of the day from last year's uh, final presentations. Was not the, they, did, they did not win the best presentation. But after that, that did not deter him. I mean, it's not about the final amount of money we share here or we do not share. Uh, we are not promising that we are going to share any amount of money. We are not promising money at all. But uh, one thing was that he went ahead to improve himself. And he, he's currently, immediately after the internship, he submitted his manuscript to a conference. So immediately he got a conference presentation paper, I mean abstract. Then going forward, he applied to the Open Bioinformatics Foundation grant and he won it with his team. Then going forward again, he applied to a research position at the Chalmers Institute in Sweden. And yes, he got it again. So, so yeah, uh, with that, he became, I mean, he's one of the most celebrated Agbayo interns right now. Even if you go to our website, you will see his picture there. Uh, interestingly, he was, yeah, interestingly, he was uh, also uh, he also got another position. I think he got he got many positions. So he was he's supposed to make this presentation, but unfortunately, we are unable to even I'm unable to trace his name to even admit him to the call, uh, and that's very unfortunate right now. But then uh, it's interesting to see someone of that kind of. I mean, he, he was an undergraduate when he was making when he did all of this and he has really improved for himself, even as an undergraduate, he's working as a research fellow with a lot of institutions all over the world. So there are many more other stories, but we wanted to just pick out one person. I mean, not because he was uh, spectacular, but because it's something, let's say uh, the foreign scene can relate to it. Because I think you, would, you, you might have noticed that it's majorly Africans because he started from Africa anyways. But then going forward, it's something anybody can benefit from. We are open to international networks. I mean, we, we want to build it. We want it to be something everybody in the world can be part of and benefit from. It's not something special. It's just a gathering of intellects, that's all. So interestingly, uh, we can now start, yeah. For now, we can now start uh, accepting your questions. So, uh, but before we are not going to manually uh, allow you to, so you can use Slido to ask your questions or you can use uh, the chat box. Anyways, I've gotten some questions here and now let me try to go through some of them. I think we, so yeah, so I have some questions about uh, how to get help. So I will summarize it as how to get help. For those asking about how to get how to get support for programming, or you don't know Linux, uh, you, do, you are not familiar with any language or any skill already. So the thing is, you are going to learn it yourself. So what we want you to achieve in this internship is that you can learn anything yourself as long as as long as you are ready to learn by yourself. Okay, so you have a whole week. The, the, the tasks have been proven to be that you can, if you are a novice, you can start learning from the zero and finish learning, I mean, have a significant amount of knowledge by the end of the week. Okay, so you are usually one week long and you can actually learn it within that one week. You can learn it completely. Uh, 
you can yeah you can you, so you have to learn it yourself you get uh you get mental you, your teammates would help you okay if you need resources if you are confused about something quickly set up a team a, a, a call so immediately you form a team you would immediately know uh, someone uh, who is able to understand? I mean, who has a typical, uh, I mean, a, a good knowledge of these things, and then you can immediately reply to you. Uh, I mean, one of the advantages is that if this person tries to prove stubborn, you can immediately move over to another person. Or even if your team is getting difficult, come to the app channel, try to uh, get yourself uh, someone. Just type them. If there's something specific, uh, how can I print my name on Python? Just ask on Google. Uh, I mean, ask on App Channel. If nobody is responding on App Channel, which is not going to be the case, I can assure you, there are a lot of highly resourceful people who are ready to share uh, their talents and skills with everybody. So we are very, we are optimistic about uh, you learning from one another. You have to, it's, a, it's going to be a community work. It's an ecosystem where everybody learns from each other. I'm also going to learn, okay? If that's what you want to know, I'm also going to learn. I can be your chief noise maker because I will, my name is Wally anyways. I forgot to introduce myself. Uh, so I'll be your chief noise maker. I'll be the one communicating, I mean, between you and the mentors, between the admin and the mentors. So I'll try to be... Uh, we can, as, as the, I mean, we can try to communicate everything amongst each other. Uh, so I think I'm having questions about when the task, so immediately after this call, the internship starts, the internship has been launched. So um, I'm going to take you through Slack and what's, how you should interact with Slack. And I think that's the last part before I didn't get any, so yes, there will be no extra support. You have to support yourself. You would have to learn. I mean, you have to reach out yourself. If you if you think you need help on something, reach out. There will be someone willing to help you. There will be someone willing to help you. So then, uh, okay. Well, I don't know how to answer this question. So for now, the this is this meeting is the only meeting where everybody gathers. After now, you are going to be working with your teams. So from now on, you are not going to be able to, uh, you are not going to be able to, yeah, of course there are, if once you are unable to uh, perform your task before the end of the week, you are going to get evicted. You are sorry about that. You are sorry about that. Uh, so I'm going to quickly talk to you about the workspace and it's just a brief uh, because I think a lot of people ask this is the first time of working with Slack. So this is the workspace from my end. My screen is relatively big. So hopefully it's visible to everybody. I'll try to increase my font. Okay. Yeah. So every day when you wake up, every day when you wake up, if you see any message, if you want any the latest information about the what is going on, the most up-to-date information about what is going on on the workspace, please come to ACT by your office. Any information from your mentors, any information from yours, from the admins is automatically here on this workspace. It's always on this workspace. So um, any information you get from the help channel or from the random channel, sorry, it's not, we are not responsible for that. And we want you to ensure, we want to ensure that you continue to use this workspace. I mean, you continue to, uh, I mean, watch out for this workspace. We can't say this is the particular time where information will be released. Or, so it's always around the clock. We are not sleeping. For the next five weeks, we are not sleeping together. We are all on our tabs and we continue to work until, until we achieve our goal. So if you want to get help, come to the help channel. You use the help channel to get help. So the, uh, I think a lot of people are already here. Anyways, come to the help channel to get help. If you, so uh, when you join, anyways, I see a lot of people already introducing themselves. So when you join, you use the 
uh, Hello World channel to introduce yourself. Uh, so uh, there are some channels that are quite locked and you should not join them. You cannot join them, unfortunately. So if you know how to use Slack, you know that uh, there are private channels, locked channels representing private channel and you cannot reach there. Uh, so when you also chat in your personal group, for example, if I ask a question, what is my name? What is my name? So to respond to me, please do not respond here what is my name do not respond this way do not respond this way uh this is bad uh community room it's a bad community room so i would prefer that you use this reply in short so that the communication can be clean and everybody can be able to follow up so this will really help you going forward oh, it's an advice it's going to help you going forward um, if you are that you're going, if you're going forward. Uh, again, one of that thing you need to now, from now, uh, is something, this is the first action point, is that you need to upgrade your status. So to do that, you me, uh, so this is my status. But before you upgrade your status, there are two things you need to do anyways. Uh, let's come in, sorry. So you first of all, edit your personal profile. To edit your profile, uh, you come here. Uh, okay, I post my notifications. Uh, understand. Resume notifications. Yeah, sorry about that. So, uh, to view my personal profile, uh, hold on, hold on, just hold on. I'm getting some messages I need to respond to. Sorry. Okay, yeah. So um, let me see my, I was typing in up channel the last time. Okay, yeah, so I can edit my profile here. This is my profile. So usually you can click your name if you type, but you can also edit your profile from here. Uh, and then, to, so you should edit your profile. And in a way, uh, yeah, this is edit profile. You should always make sure your username, this display name, is a single uh, word, okay? Make sure there are no spaces between your word, between your username. Your full name can be Wale, Wale, whatever, but your username, this display name, should be a single word, okay? Your first task requires this. It should be a single word. So we are going to check out for this. We are going to still going to re-emphasize it. And all these points, we are going to mention them on the Agbari Office channel. But make sure your, your username is a single word. It's just a single word. So uh, for example, this is a very good username. Oh, sorry. This is a very good username. But this should be converted to just one. Just pick one of your names. You can use your, um, what is it called? You can use your nickname, your game name, if there is a name you use. Again, any username you prefer, you can. Yeah, I believe I've seen some names that are not real names. Yeah, this is a very good one. But try not to use two words. Immediately use two words. Our Slack bot will not be able to identify you when we are admit when we are promoting you to the next stage. So please work on that. Uh, so and finally, one thing you need to do is that so we only have nine admins. And uh, I think about nine mentors as well, or 10, if I'm right. So we know ourselves. So, uh, and then you can't even make it, uh, we know ourselves. So uh, going forward, you should change this. So uh, for now, I think nobody has changed, but you should come here to, so let me clear my status. Let me try to do it again. So if you come here, uh, update your status. Update your status. If you're mobile, I think it's also very similar. Just look for this logo representing your name. Update your status and then change it to stage zero. Everybody on the workspace is in stage zero right now. Okay, so change it to stage zero and then you see. So immediately uh, my name changes to zero. For the admins and our mentors, they automatically have admin status. 
So I encourage everybody to start doing this. Well, this is a very good uh, automatic response. So as someone is following, last training, and that's it. We encourage you. So these are admins. I know all of them. We know ourselves. And then we are going to introduce a bot that automatically catches anybody who does not follow these instructions. Sorry, we are taking a lot of your time already, but I'm going to go back to my administrators now. So immediately you do that, uh, switch to don't clear. Sometimes it may clear up after a few minutes. So switch to don't clear, and then you save it. So I'm back as an admin. But anybody who is caught using another, yeah. Anybody who is caught using another person's, uh, so try to use a name that is that will be as much as possible unique to yourself. So uh, don't use a name that is uh, that you think another person would easily use. Try to use a name that is unique to yourself. So usually your username, maybe your email's username, or something you always use, or your pet name, anything, anything you find uh, interesting to your personal self. And um, I think there was one more last thing that I was supposed to mention. Uh, yeah, I've mentioned this. Yeah, so, yeah, there is a last channel uh, called Quarantine Channel. On this channel, uh, please, this is the channel that leads you home. If you are here in this channel for more than three days and you cannot get out, you find yourself evicted. Uh, sorry, this is, we try to maintain decorum, we try to maintain decency, or if you do not want to maintain it, if you, and you are pushed to this, so in as much as you are free to do a lot of things, we try to still maintain that, you should be, you, you should be, so I'm not supposed to answer that for you, what you mention, what you do, if you, if you sell fish, you can put a uh, fish seller, I mean, anything you want to put, please put, that's not a major problem. But try to maintain decency. If you do not maintain decency, we will bring you to quarantine zone. That's the COVID room. And then if you stay here for more than three days, you'll be evicted. Um, all these instructions will also be published on YouTube so that you can watch. It will also be published manually on the workspace on ArcBio Office just after now. And then going forward, uh, we can, I think basically everything you need to know about the Slack workspace has been shared. Um, there are still more questions. Let me try to check them up. Yeah. Yeah, your display name to be changed to a single word. A single word. Yeah, a single word. What you do well, it's your choice. You can pick anything. If you if you are creating, I mean, if you're a student, you can write students. If you're a biochemist, you can write biochemists. And if you are a father, you can write father. It's just more like your Twitter profile. Your teams, <laughs> watch out it's in a few minutes, don't worry. Can we choose what we, what field we work? Yeah, 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 we are not going to, you can choose, uh, you can choose your team, it's allowed. Considering that we don't have any name. Yeah, you are going to get up by yourself. You are going to work on how to get help. So one of the basic skills of a bioinformatician is actually being able to get help. So you are going to be able to get help privately by yourself as well. Okay. How will teams be decided? You will decide your team yourself, don't worry. But it, it, the teams are not usually more than 10 persons, okay? So uh, is there criteria to be evicted? Uh, yeah. You'll be evicted once you, one, if you enter the quarantine channel for abuse or any form of abuse, whatever we categorize as abuse, you'll be, you'll be evicted. Uh, again, if your team does not proceed to the next stage, you'll be evicted. Yeah, optimistic, nice. Uh, I'm still waiting for more questions if possible. Yeah, it's, the eviction is by team, so as, but if you <clears throat> if there's an individual is not working in your team and in the final report the person's name is not there uh the person gets evicted while the team stays okay well i think you should just scroll try to scroll uh 
it's available it's from zero to from one to three it's available with the of course there will be deadlines there will be deadlines at the end of every week uh, we are going to share the calendar very soon we're going to share the calendar very soon immediately you have so uh, can someone no 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 you cannot register again we already have a lot of persons to deal with so so next week sunday will be so uh, you do not necessarily have to submit on sunday if you have your project ready by tomorrow morning please submit it and then you can enjoy the rest of your week there is, yeah the deadline is usually at the end of the week anybody that has not finished by the end of the week gets out but if you can finish even in 30 minutes after the uh, project has been released fine so for the first uh, three stages you do not meet your mentors for help anything that relates to help please always go to the help channel there will be people willing to help you I will try to help if I can help. Don't write to me personally, except it is very important. Don't write to me personally, please. I'm trying to beg for that. And don't write to any of the admins personally. They are working day and night to ensure everything is still working smoothly. Uh, the fact that we are able to have this call, even uh, as shabby as it looks, uh, it's because of them. So if, I mean, it's because of their hard work. If we are unable to get that done, I mean, it's, I mean, they are always working. So please don't write to them. They have a lot of other things to do. Does that mean every member of the team? Yeah, if your entire team does not submit, everybody gets out. But if a few people do not submit, I mean, we're unable to catch up or we're not so serious with the assignments, you guys should just submit once your work is ready. And then, uh, or would they or would they be given team wise? Yeah, just watch out. You don't need to know everything for now. That's what makes it interesting. <laughs> you can't know everything for now. <laughs> okay. So um I will just hold on to uh for about five more minutes. The submission is by team. It's by your team. So are you trying to say that submission? So it's by your team, okay. So let me stop sharing my screen. Maybe I can share the screen section of this chat. Okay, I didn't know Slack. Uh, I mean, uh, Zoom's chat is itself is not showing. Okay. Um, okay. So I don't know if anybody has any comments. Maybe we can allow a few persons to talk. Okay, if that's the if there's no more questions, I know some persons are afraid. Don't be afraid. Uh, please don't be afraid. I will be tough. I will promise you I will be tough, right? Uh, but that's just to ensure decorum, that's to ensure discipline. But then uh I'm a very, very nice person. If I'm tough, does being tough does not mean I will be I will, I have lost my humanity. So I got a question now. I don't know if I, I said uh, the, there is no point in doing a the prediction. Yeah, of course it's not individual. Of course, like I said, it's 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 team based. You have to work. With your team. Yeah, we are working with your team, so it's not individual. You get to work with your team. And then, um, you work with you try as much as possible to help people. So one thing I want to tell you is to help people. Even if I'm in the internship, I would ask for help. And that's the reason. That's how everybody becomes better. Try to get help, okay? But try to get reasonable help. If there's something you can search on Google, please go to Google instead of asking people. Uh, okay. So so that those on YouTube, I mean, those that are unable to join the call. So but how the teams will be, will be distributed, we will do that right away. But just give us one hour so that we can bring everybody up to speed okay you would it's not something i can explain on the call i mean it's not something i can it's a process don't worry but you are free to join any team you want to join okay you are free to join any team there is no special team <laughs> okay 
Don't be scared. It's, it's completely entertaining. You would enjoy the process, okay? Don't be scared. I think I'm already causing a lot of panic. Don't sweat it, okay? It's going to be interesting, and I promise you, you would enjoy your time here. Even if you spend a day, you would enjoy your time. Okay, have a nice day, everybody. Uh, if you have any other questions about this internship or about something you think we should have mentioned, uh, I would create, you can ask me on help channel, help channel, or random, help or random. So uh, I would explain how you make the teams, don't worry. <laughs> okay, have a nice day, everybody. Uh, so let's catch up to, let's bring those on, uh, those that were unable to join the call, let's bring them on board, please. Okay, bye-bye, everybody.